so you, you if you were not paying attention to what was happening in the Super Bowl, if you're watching, weren't watching the news, which is good. You shouldn't be watching the news, but you know, the Super Bowl always gets some out of town coverage. Uh, certainly from people that have are in states and areas like when it comes to this COVID thing that aren't as open as some others. So they bring their journalists, if you will, reporters or whatever, and they come and they just start um, clutching their pearls because they see that will free people are being free. So you may have seen some of the footage of, for example, CNN say just, oh, this chick, of course, she points out the fact that she's wearing two masks. Um, the reporter and she's like all oh, these people around me they're mixing clearly they're not in in the same families or anything like that and they're outside no mask a lot of them just snitching people out uh, but there was something I main the, the mayor of uh, Tampa which is where the Super Bowl was hosted uh, had some things to say we're gonna watch this real quick so because I haven't watched it um, so I wanted to watch it with you guys I only saw the caption so let's take a look at what this mayor uh, is saying about this whole mask situation. Everyone knows that simply wearing a mask dramatically reduces the spread of COVID-19. No, first of all, for, hold on, stop, stop. First of all, stop right there. No, we don't know that. Um, that is something that you guys have just said and we are supposed to accept it as true, but that is, there's not been any sort of study with a random patrol trial that has actually proven that that has been the case. So let's let's start right there. I know what in theory what you guys believe that it is. So we don't know anything. You just tell us that and we're just supposed to believe it. Um, so whether you believe it or not, that's your business. But to just sit up here and say we uh, know that is simply not true. It's like not true at all. I'm proud to say that the majority of individuals that I saw uh, out and about enjoying the festivities associated with the Super Bowl were complying. You know, we we had tens of thousands of people all over the city, downtown, out by the stadium, Ybor City, uh, down here in Channel Side, and very, very few incidents. So I'm proud of our community, but uh, those few bad actors uh, will be identified and the Tampa Police Department will handle it. <laughs> there just has to be that level of personal responsibility. You can supply everyone with a mask, advise them of the science behind it, and expect that they are going to, to abide by the mask order. Again, you're going to find a few that don't. The majority that I saw were wearing masks. All right, so she didn't say anything there, but what she just said was that she, the bad actors, which of course are the people as she's referring to, are the people that weren't wearing masks. Uh, she's going to, they're, they're going to be identified and the police will handle it. Now, I don't know if Tampa, well, first of all, I don't know if Tampa even has a, a mask. I'm, I'm guessing they have some sort of mask mandate. I'm not sure. Um, I, I thought that the governor had passed something to where they couldn't. Maybe it was pertaining to the lockdowns and it wasn't the mask. I don't know. Um, so I could be getting my facts uh, incorrect on that. But apparently there's something there that allows them to uh, allows them. I say that lightly or rather with quotes, air quotes. But it's something that apparently allows them to. <laughs> throw you in jail you know if you're getting the police involved fine you or throw you in jail or you know they're gonna throw you in jail eventually if you don't pay pay, pay the fine or something like that you see um, when it when it comes to things like that i just wish people would be certainly up front certainly those guys that are you know comes from the same crowd a lot with it's f the police uh, a, a cab right um it's um police bad and then it's police need to enforce mask mandates which doesn't really, you know, align, but what it is that you are saying, and let's be completely honest here, that you are willing to whoop some, kidnap someone, um, and in the, in the event that they resist, you are willing to kill them over not wearing a mask. Now, let's just call it what it is. People don't like to talk about law enforcement in that capacity and i understand it but that's ultimately what it is it's a damn death threat okay you can say what it is you you can say that well it's advised that you listen to the police in the event that they come that's all sounds good at the end of the day what you are saying when it comes to this or really any law uh is that this is something that you are willing to kill someone over ultimately uh because in the event that they choose to resist when you try to enforce this said mass mandate 
the goons are going to air you out. That's just what that's how they operate. So you can don't sit up there and act like I'm traumatizing it. I'm just saying it. That's what's going to happen in the event that someone resists. You'll whoop somebody's ass. You'll kidnap them, join, throw them, throw them in jail. Or if they resist and are rather successful or overpowering the police, you'll kill them over it. That's ultimately what you are saying. You don't like it worded like that, but that's what it is. So when I call you guys mass cultists, I just have to kind of have some sort of point of reference there because that's what I truly believe that you guys in a cult, you would treat this mask thing. That's very odd. You treat it like it's this immunity. The whole mask kind of cultism any, it, it is a weird thing anyway, because when it comes to like the asymptomatic spread, we still, or rather the, I remember the WHO had been saying that, that uh, it, it, it's least likely to spread asymptomatically it's not much a lot of data that proves that it even really does asymptomatically but what it is that we do uh, and when it comes to this approach of COVID which is doesn't make a lot of sense is that everybody is guilty everybody has it so you must wear a mask so that you don't spread it because it's the assumption even if you don't it's the assumption that you don't, which is weird because that's what they say when they see other people wearing masks it's automatically assumed you are killing people now, again, that for one assumes that they have it Two, they, that that assumes that they're spreading it. Three, that assumes that the person that got it and died from it, which is less than a one percent of people that end up contracting this this illness. But that person specifically got it from someone wearing a mask. They don't know that, of course, which is why it's a blanket. One size fits all. Everybody wore the mask. Or you don't care about people. Uh, it's a responsibility thing. And it's funny um, it, 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 when it comes to this, it's like they keep talking about the science and then all the th there's not a lot of data that proves their their point. That's just what it is. Yes, there have been like these studies, uh, epidemiologist store studies, some of which have been have to have been retracted, which point to they're not actually like. OK, because, you know, the Danish study, for example, which is one of the only that had the random control trial, found that it was basically statistically insignificant when it came to spread of viral, uh, the mask and stopping of the spread of uh, the uh, more so the viral spread. Of course, they don't reference that. They reference like, OK, the, look at this uh, 3D image of, of this uh, aerosol can that we're going to spray and you see the mask stop. like. That's not how viruses work, according to y'all, but. Even if we assume that that was the case, let people voluntarily take whatever risk it is that they want to assume. See, when you look at folks at the Super Bowl kicking it outside, bunched up with no mask or something like that in Florida, where's the crime there? Somebody want to tell me the crime? There is none. Because everybody there has assumed that risk. Everybody there is assuming now if you uh, didn't want to assume the risk and the mask is is uh, it's something that you, you value will you put it on. That's your business. OK, by all means. But you're looking at people that are assuming the risk. They know what it's going on with this whole pandemic. And they've chosen to assume the risk alongside other people. So where's the crime? There is none. It's just a cult because you look, you look at that and you say, oh, definitely these out of towners, right? Who don't who don't live in the more freer freer states. Oh my God! I, look at all these people. I'm double look. I'm double masking. These guys behind me, they they don't have a mask on at all. Then they're bunched they're bunched up with each other, mixing, and of course they're not in the same family. And I'm like, dude, that's the risk that they should be free to assume. See, that was the solution from the get go. It wasn't to use the state to force everybody to put diapers on their face. It was okay. If the science is as legitimate as you claim it is, well, people should be free to make the decision for themselves that if they want to wear the mask, they will. If they don't, they simply don't. And if you don't want to be around people that don't wear it, well, don't be. I mean, you were assuming risk before this whole COVID thing. I know uh, people have a lot of short memories, but believe it or not, guys, I'm, I'm going to put some on your mind. I know it's going to just completely blow some of you guys' mind that are watching this after the fact, after the segment it was aired on 4K and Sec, which you should be watching live at 12 p.m. Or, you know, even if you're live in the chat right now. People spread virus viruses prior to COVID-19. Did y'all know that? 
that you could spread something to someone and depending on their illnesses, including other coronaviruses, that depending on their underlying conditions, if they, you might have been fine. You may have had nothing wrong with you, but you passed that to someone and they had a severe reaction. Did y'all know that that was a thing prior to COVID-19? Did you know that? Like that was a thing that we all lived with as people. Like people die of viral pneumonia, which by the way doesn't have a cure if it's associated, unless it's associated with the flu. People would spread that stuff. People would die from it. And now, because the TV box and the cathedral members said, well, it's different now. It's more contagious. It's uh, because of reasons. It's not even that. They don't even have to come with the reasons. It's just because reasons is magic. I ain't got to explain nothing. So you put the diaper on your face because you feel like it grants you some sort of immunity. And it doesn't. And uh, when you see people in a state that, well, they've been handling this a lot better as a recent than a lot of other countries um, and states when it comes to letting free people make decisions for themselves. See, it's a mask. I don't care how much you think, oh, it's just a mask. It's not much of an inconvenience. Just put it on. See, that's what sheep say, right? That's what sheep, sheep love to say that, right? It's like, well, what's the big deal? Just put it on. It's no big deal. Like, see, that's the type of shit they say. Just, just go with the flow. Do what we doing. These fucking zombies. You don't like seeing people be free and have make the decision for themselves. Clearly, I guess your arguments don't work as as well as you think they work, which is probably why you guys need to send agents of the state to go whoop up on people and jail them, fine them, do whatever you want because they don't wear masks. They're in a cult, and I don't care how mad that makes you. 